jackhammering in the background. I apologize, but yeah, as you can tell, we are still currently in an Airbnb. We have been in this Airbnb for literally how many months now? Almost four months. It has not been fun to say the least. I don't know if I mentioned this in one of our last videos or not. Also, disregard my hair. I'm gonna fix that after I put Sophia down for her nap, but we're living in one of those new build do you hear that? I really hope you guys can hear that. Because this is what we're dealing with. And I have to put Sophia down for her nap, literally right now. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Honestly, wish me luck. And she literally did not sleep at all last night. Well, honestly, she hasn't slept at all for like the past couple months. Thanks to teething. She finally got two teeth though, which is awesome. But she's been teething like crazy, crazy, crazy. So, we haven't slept. I think we slept a total of like three hours in like three months. So, that's really fun. <laughs> We've been giving her these like teething drops and honestly I think they're helping but I really, I, I don't know. I don't even know. She just doesn't sleep so I don't know. It might be like a regression mixed with teething mixed with like a bunch of stuff. Anyway, like I was saying, we're staying in one of those like new builds. All the houses in this neighborhood are completely new and we're just starting to see how many issues these new builds have. We always thought we wanted one of these just because like it's brand new so like we can't go wrong with something brand new, right? No, wrong. They have been rebuilding and redoing things that they messed up the first time, the entire time we've stayed here. Like, I swear we're living in a construction zone. They're literally jackhammering. We've heard so many neighbors come over to them too and just ask like, hey, how long do you think this is gonna take? Like, all the neighbors are definitely not happy with this. I feel like they just rush everything when they're building these new developments and then they'll come back in and fix their mistakes, which is so crazy to me. Obviously though, there's issues with everything. You get an old house like ours and then it floods. So I mean, you can't really win, but it's just crazy how like this is a brand new community and they're still like tearing stuff down and rebuilding it. I honestly haven't filmed because I have just been so unmotivated here to say the least. And yeah, we just like don't love it here. Just obviously it's not home. It's definitely a nice place, don't get me wrong. And we're really grateful that we were able to stay here, you know, instead of a hotel. So, overall, it's good, but we just want to go home. So, like, a little update on our house, though, is we are kind of just, like, waiting right now for some insurance stuff. Then, once they start, like, rebuilding our house, it should only take a month, which is really good news. But as of right now, we have no idea when we're going to move back into our house. We're hoping mid-April. Worst case, beginning of May. But yeah, that's kind of crazy to me because I feel like that's so far away still. And if we move into our house in May, we'll only have one month and then we're going to be planning Sophia's first birthday, which that is crazy to me. The fact that we're about to have a one-year-old is just like mind-blowing. I don't want to think about it too hard because I'll probably start crying. But some other stuff that's happened while we've been here is I got mastitis. <laughs> My first time getting it, which that was not fun. I got like the fever and everything. And I felt like I had the flu pretty much. Also, my eczema is back, which is so exciting. Love that for me. I think it's just because I'm stressed out living here. And yeah, I'm definitely having a flare up. So that's been really exciting. What else? How else have I been going through it? We all got sick. We all had like a cold. I'll show you guys the medicine that I was using with Sophia, her teething medicine. And also I used one for her cold, which I feel like that did help. I also just nursed her a lot when she was sick. Um, and then the nose Frida was a lifesaver because we had runny noses and that was like the best way to clear out her nose. That nose Frida, man, I love that thing so much. I didn't think I would use it as much as I do, but if you are expecting and you want to add anything to your registry, add the nose Frida. It's so worth it. I think they also have like electric ones that you could get, which that's pretty cool because I will say Sophia knows now when I'm going to use it and she doesn't love it necessarily, so... I have to like kind of fight her on it a little bit, but I feel like if I had an electric one, it would be easier just to like shove it in her nose and it does the work. Cause with the nose free you have to suck it out. So like sometimes I only have one shot to get it before she like freaks out on me. So I might get an electric one eventually, but that saved our life. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy has been happening. Anyways, I'm getting ready right now because we're gonna go to the mall and walk around just to get out of the house because like I said, this construction zone is literally driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to go put Sophia down for her nap in the guest room, so I'm probably gonna have to sleep with her because that's another thing is she, I swear, eight months hit and she became so, I don't wanna say this like it's a bad thing, but she's just like extra clingy. She's always been kind of like a clingy baby. And also I'm like a clingy mom, like I just want her on me, near me all the time. 
So I feel like that's partially because of me, but also I feel like eight months hit and then she got like extreme separation anxiety. Like even if we're playing in her playroom and she's playing with the toys, she like wants to crawl on me and have me hold her where she would like never used to do that. So for most of her naps, I do honestly lay down with her just because she'll get better naps when I'm laying with her. Also, I know my eye looks insane right now, but I'm gonna fix that, don't worry. So yeah, so contact naps have been saving our life, honestly, that's how she sleeps for like long periods of time. And as much as like I tell myself like, oh, I should be doing this while she's napping, I should be getting this done. I also remind myself that this time isn't forever, like she's only gonna be eight months right now. I just remind myself that this is a short period of time, so like, the laundry, the household chores, all that stuff can wait because I will never get this time back with her. And so I just literally have been soaking in all of like the cuddles, the naps. And I honestly like it too because I get to just like lay there and relax with her. If that's how my baby wants to sleep, that's how she's gonna sleep. But yeah, so we have to go into the guest bedroom because it's gonna be a little quieter because I really don't think she'll be able to nap in here with that jackhammer going. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put her down for her nap right now. I just wanted to catch up with you guys while I got ready. So she's up from her nap now. She's right here. Say hi. Can you say hi? She also started waving. It's really cute. And clapping. She knows how to clap and wave, huh? I think that's thanks to Miss Rachel. Honestly, I'd like to give myself the credit, but I'm pretty sure she started clapping after an episode of Miss Rachel. So my hair is like in the thick of growing back from like, I mean, look at that. The postpartum hair loss is no joke. Please look at that. Like, my hair is really struggling, but it's at least growing back, which is good. So like, I like to do hairstyles just because I feel like leaving it down, I look like I have a receding hairline. I just have no hair in the front anymore. And it looks like that. So I like to do hairstyles to like kind of make myself feel better about my hair. When I leave it down like this, actually, I guess it's not that noticeable, but to me it is. Like if I go like that, it's super noticeable. So. I like to just put my hair back out of my face. And yeah, I've been wearing a lot of ponytails, but today I want to try something different. Try something like a little fun. So I think we're going to try like a slicked ponytail and then braid it. I recently got this product. It's like a styling cream by day and I actually really like it. It smells really good too. I just like to use this to kind of like slick down any flyaways that I have. I also got... A better brush because I noticed it was really hard for me to do like slick hairstyles with just like my wet brush obviously that's not what it's for so I got this brush and it helps a lot it's crazy because like when I was pregnant my hair was the thickest and like the healthiest it's ever been and then to go from that to losing a bunch of that hair it was just kind of a shock for me I was like what the heck I definitely miss my pregnancy hair. All right, three years later, I think I have the ponytail how I want it. Whoa, rocket, super baby. Rocket, baby. Tell me I'm not the only mom who gets a heart attack every time Whee! her husband plays with your baby because Zach is just like throwing her up in the air. She loves it, don't get me wrong, but I have a mini heart attack every time. Also, do you see all the hair sticking out of my braid? <laughs> Maybe I'll move the ponytail up a little just because that looks a little bit crazy. Hair is done. Now I'm ready to go. Finally made it in the car. Getting situated in the car is like a whole ordeal. Sucks. Yeah. It, like eight things to carry. I know. Hand. We have so many things that we have to carry and bring in. I finally just like organized the back seat a little bit, which I'm so proud of because we had clothes, like toys, just everything everywhere. I want to find like a car storage slash organizer just for all of Sophia's toys and stuff like that. And like the extra clothes that we keep in here because I kid you not, this kid is like clockwork. As soon as we get in the car, poops, craps everywhere. It happens every single time, which I'm so worried about potty training because I'm like, how is that going to work? So we make sure we have the extra clothes stocked up. But it's crazy because she's in her big girl car seat now. We got the, hi, look at her head. Did you see her head? She's in her big girl car seat now. We got the Nuna Rava. It was a tie between the Nuna Rava and the, what's the name of the one that swiveled? I don't know. It was the Nuna swivel one that like does a full 360. And the reason we ended up going with the Rava is just because it'll last her a lot longer. We felt like we'd get more bang for our buck getting this one versus the other one. And so far we have no complaints. I thought it was gonna be annoying not having the swivel and having to like lift her over into the seat, but honestly, we don't really mind it. Okay, we made it to the mall. I'm getting a quick pump in so I can have an extra bottle for her because I only got like three ounces in this bottle. 
Um, so I'm pumping some more right now, but yeah, Zach is in the back changing her diaper. Teamwork makes the dream work, that's for sure. Anyways, yeah, we just got to the mall. Yeah, I'm ready to eat and honestly to shop, so <laughs> let's go. Okay, we're back in the car now. We finally got to get these macarons that I've been wanting to try for so long. Every time we go here, the line is just ridiculously long, so we've never gotten them before, but today the line was actually not long, which was surprising. I just got some macarons. I got a bunch of really good flavors, but I really want to try this one because this one is just like so cute. And I think this one's vanilla, and vanilla is my favorite flavor. So I really I guess we'll try the churro. Yeah, see, I got a churro one for Zach, and he's like, ew, I don't like churro. Ew, I'm not eating that. No, it's not that I don't like churro. I just don't like macaroons. But. This is definitely 10 out of 10, though. I feel bad that I ate his face, but definitely worth it. Okay, you want your churro one? Yeah. And then this is the churro one. This one looks really good. See, I am a good wife. I literally picked one out for him, and he was ungrateful, but now he is happy I got it for him, huh? Mine tastes like ice cream in the middle. Honestly, yeah, mine kind of does too. It tastes like vanilla ice cream. Anyway, we're gonna head home. Sophia's probably gonna nap in the car, so. There goes her second nap of the day, but it's okay. It was worth it to get out of the house, honestly. Okay, so we're back home now, and I wanted to do like a little haul of some stuff that I got. I know I showed you guys the macaroons. First thing I got was from Lululemon. For Valentine's Day, Zach got me a Lululemon gift card, so you already know I had to go pick something up. So I just picked up these Lululemon Align leggings. It's in the Java color. When I saw this color, I knew I had to have it, so. Yeah, just pick those up. And then this is what I'm really excited about. So there's this store at the mall called Junie Gray, which the first time I heard of this store was actually I saw it on Instagram and I was obsessed with like the aesthetic and everything, but they have like an actual store at this mall, which is super cool. So I just picked up another beanie for Sophia because we have this same exact beanie in like a brown taupey color, but I saw that they had this one in the store and Usually these sell out so fast, so I haven't seen the smiley face beanies in there in a really long time So when I saw that they had one left, I was like, yep, gotta grab it And I really like the blue color. She'll definitely be able to wear this for a while These beanies are just the cutest and we literally use that beanie for her every single day So I might even put this on her right now while we go for our walk I apologize if you hear the wind in the background. The weather here is so crazy right now. It's so windy, rainy, just like gross. So I decided to make myself some soup. I feel like that's the perfect food for a rainy day. But also I started taking my iron again because I was anemic during my pregnancy. Yeah, I was. I don't think that went away after pregnancy. I almost feel like it got kind of worse because I don't know, I just see stars all the time. So I just decided that I was gonna start taking iron again because when I was taking iron every day, I honestly felt great. But the thing about iron is if I don't eat after, I will be so nauseous. So that's also part of the reason why I decided to make myself some food. It's way too hot for me to eat right now though, so I'm probably gonna let that cool off a little bit. I think while we wait for my soup to cool down, I'm gonna watch some Bachelor. Sophia also is obsessed with this remote. So I think I'm gonna get her this toy off Amazon that looks like a legit remote, but you can put ice in the back and it's good for like teething and stuff. We're gonna watch The Bachelor while my soup cools off a little bit. So it's a little bit later now. I had my soup and I literally spilled it all over myself. So I had to have like a little mini outfit change because my other hoodie is ruined. <laughs> I only watched like 20 minutes of The Bachelor, so definitely gonna have to finish that later tonight. But we have some ripe bananas, so I thought it would be fun to make some chocolate chip banana bread. This is a rare occurrence in the Conley household. I never bake. Yeah, I never bake. We had to go buy one of these because our Airbnb didn't have like a loaf pan, so got this. And yeah, we're just gonna make some banana bread. I'm very excited. This is like my favorite guilty pleasure of food. So the recipe that I'm using, it says you need three to four medium bananas. Should I do three or four? Do you want it more banana-y? Three, not four. So here's our bananas. I'm just gonna mash these up in a bowl. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add one and a third cup of all-purpose flour. Okay, so now I got my flour in the mixing bowl and now I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. Oh my God. What? Spilled everywhere. This Great. is why you don't cook. Thanks, babe. And then I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. How do I get the salt out? Do I just shake it? We crushed it. 
You are moronic. Why are you Actually laughing? Moronic. What do I do? Bring it here. How do I do it? Click the twist bottom? It. Oh, I twist. Oh, how am I supposed to hold this and twist it? I guess I'm done cooking now. Zach is gonna film. You'll film? Sure. Okay, Zach is gonna film this next portion because I need to feed Sophia. Welcome back to my cooking show. Today we're making chocolate chip banana bread. First, we need. Well, I already did the first step. Well, minus Rochelle's first steps. <laughs> we need half a cup of unsalted butter melted. Half a cup sugar has a lot of mother sugar. Really? We don't do a full half. You need to use the. You can't just like not put the recipe. Ew, this looks like Sophia's diaper. Hey, mom. Okay, so we actually suck at filming. Um, babe, remember how you were supposed to finish showing the banana bread and everything? Yeah, never did. Yeah, Zach didn't finish vlogging when he said he was gonna finish vlogging the banana bread, but actually it was because we had family call and so we were talking to family and stuff and then we totally lost track of time. But that banana bread was so freaking good. I'm gonna leave the recipe linked down below so you guys can try it out. Are your teeth hurting you? She always makes that face when her teeth are hurting. Yeah, anyways, the banana bread was actually super, super good. And it was super like moist. I know I hate that word, but that's like the best way to describe it. It was just such a good, moist, Banana bread. So I will definitely leave the recipe linked down below if you guys are interested in making it since we obviously didn't show you guys how to make it or we didn't finish showing you how to make it. So yeah, definitely sorry about that, but we tried our very best. Um, and then, oh, by the time I got done putting Sophia down for bed, I came downstairs and there were already pieces of the bread gone. Because <laughs> Zach was eating it. I would definitely try to make that if you're interested in baking and stuff like that. But I really quickly want to show you guys the teething medicine that we've been using because I know I like mentioned that in the beginning of this vlog and then I just never showed it. So this is the teething medicine that we've been using and honestly I feel like it does help. The only problem is since this is like a holistic medicine, it definitely takes a lot more to work. You know like if we were to put just Orgel on her, I'm sure it would work a lot faster but um, I just like the ingredients in this a lot more. I have been on like a whole non-toxic kick. Zach is really annoyed with me, but I just like went down a rabbit hole on TikTok and basically everything is bad for us. And so it stresses me out. And obviously having a baby, I wanna make sure that I'm using better products. So I think what we're gonna start doing, especially once, <laughs> what are you doing? Especially when we're back home in our own house, we're gonna definitely be making some more non-toxic swaps. And then when we all had the cold and like the runny nose and everything, we were using this for her and I feel like this helped a lot too. Just, obviously I did this as well as like nursed her and stuff like that. You want a mommy's bag? But anyway, speaking of like non-toxic swaps and stuff, I got an exciting package. I ran out of toothpaste and so like I said, if I run out of a product, I just wanna get like a new non-toxic version. So I did some research and I found this brand for toothpaste. It's called Boca, I think. So this is the name of the toothpaste brand, but I got a pack of three. So I got lemon lavender toothpaste and this one is whitening, which I'm curious to see how this works. And then I got just like a mint flavored one. And then I also got this coconut ginger flavored one. I don't know, it sounded really good. So yeah, so I'm gonna be trying these out. But yeah, the only reason I got this though is because I ran out of toothpaste. So I like that. That's definitely a a much better approach for me when it comes to switching out products because I was like feeling very overwhelmed like oh my gosh where do I even start because everything I'm using right now is toxic anyways we're up in the playroom now um, another package that I got was actually from love every it's another play kit it's called the Explorer play kit and it's for nine to ten month olds we absolutely love these play kits from love every they are the best thing ever this is just what the play kit looks like super super cute and then you can open it up and then it shows you basically all of the toys that are inside. So this one just has a book that says how I feel. It has stainless steel jingle keys, first blocks, bright and light play scarf, clear tube with stacking rings. I'm so excited for this. I've been wanting a toy like that for a really long time. Montessori egg cup little grip canister set and then a stainless steel tip and turn with baby ball. I feel like she's really gonna love this one. Well, she'll probably love it all, but yeah. And then this is just what the toys all look like in there. And then this thing is really cool. This is just really helpful because as you can see, it tells you ways to play. It gives you expert tips. Um, it tells you development info and then it gives also at home activities that you guys can do. Oh, and she is already wanting everything in here. So look, oh, and she's already getting into it. <laughs> okay, should we play with these toys? She's obsessed with these books. Look, a new book, bud. Yay! Happy. <gasps> Look at the egg. Whoa. 
That is super cool. I can't even rave about Love Every enough. We absolutely love them. I want to say 99% of her toys are from Love Every. Like, if you looked in the oh, playroom right now, yeah, we got a lot of Love Every in this household. So if you haven't already, definitely check out Love Every. You will not be disappointed. This is definitely something we look forward to every couple months. Playrooms can definitely get cluttered, especially if you buy way too many products. So these kits are just perfect because you don't really need more than this. See, how did I know she was going to go for this thing? I told you. Yep, there she goes. Where's the ball for it? Let's find it. Oh, right here. <gasps> wow, look at her face. I wish you could see her face. Wow, you might be able to. Anyways, we're going to finish playing and then we're going to get her ready to go to bed. Good morning. I slept in this all night. First of all, I have a bone to pick. Why doesn't anyone talk about how uncomfortable this is to sleep in? Like, my neck is definitely struggling this morning because I was... Well, first of all, I didn't use a pillow last night because me trying to sleep on a pillow with these two freaking poles in my hair was like nearly impossible, so I slept without a pillow. So these better work. If you're thinking about getting these, just know that sleeping in them is not the comfiest. I really am curious to see how this curled my hair. Also, I have pieces of hair that like fell out, so I don't know how good this is going to turn out. I feel like this side is going to be a lot better than this one, but anyways, I'm just going to stop rambling and we're just going to start with the bad side, I guess. Let's see. It definitely curled it, that's for sure. But did it? Oh. Oh. Oh no. It's looking a little kinky. Oh wait, actually? Oh, wait, that's not that bad. Oh, wait, when I brush it out, I feel like that's actually going to look pretty good. Stop. Okay, let's do this side now. Okay, honestly, I knew this side was going to turn out better. See, because none of these pieces were curled. It's definitely like a little more curly than I'm used to. But I definitely feel like once they start, you know, straightening out a little bit, it'll look a lot better. This is what I'm having an issue with because like, what is that? I'm going to have to figure out a way to do it so that my front pieces aren't so crazy. But I mean, for my first try, that's not that bad. It's kind of giving Shirley Temple vibes, but I feel like once they start to straighten out a little bit, it won't look as crazy. I definitely am gonna have to try this again or like a couple more times because I want to perfect it because I feel like I could definitely get there. Anyways, it's not that bad. I will say, I was very scared this morning, not gonna lie. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.